Assalamu alaikum. Accensor retinaculum. Accensor retinaculum is also known as dorsal carpal ligament and posterior annular ligament. As we all know, accensor retinaculum or any retinaculum have a sheet of connective tissue. That sheet is just like a ligament. So sometimes uh, they are just uh, name of the ligaments the scientists or we can say medical professionals also name it as uh, name of a ligament let's talk about the attachment of the extensor retinaculum as you can see in the picture over here it's clearly shown that the extensor retinaculum is uh, a band uh, winding the wrist but it is a little bit proximal from the side of the thumb and from the side of your pinky finger it is kind of distal so it's going from proximal to distal so in this way you can observe that before the thumb we have the radius bone over here so it is coming from the radius bone and then as it goes a little bit distal from the radius bones corner it reaches the styloid process of ulna attaches there and after it we have two more carpal bones which is piciform and triquetrium it also attaches to that from with the uh, at the side of the pinky finger which is also known as the little finger let's talk about the contents of the extensor retinaculum Extensor retinaculum is kind of complicated retinaculum as compared to any other retinaculum because extensor retinaculum of the hand have different sheath for different things. As we look into the picture, we have different compartments made up over here. Compartment number one, two, likewise, we have six compartments. In each compartment, we have different stuff. In the compartment number one, we have extensor pollicis brevis, abductor pollicis brevis, two muscles of the thumb, which have to be on the radial side, which is mean that it's coming. Uh, we are studying the content from the lateral to medial. After it, we have compartment number two in which we have extensor carpi radialis brevis as we know at the carpal side we have accents uh, at the radial side we have extensor carpi radialis brevis extensor carpi radialis longus both are situated in the compartment number two if you see in the compartment number three we have extensor pollicis strongus in the compartment number four we have extensor digitorum extensor indices Compartment number five, we have extensor digiti minimi. Compartment number six, extensor carpi ulnaris, which should be situated at the side of the ulna because it is the extensor carpi of the ulnar side. So, as the name declares it. So, these are the content of the extensor retinaculum. Contents of the extensor retinaculum are more in number as compared to the flexor retinaculum. But to memorize it, we can just say the, the muscles which are for the like for the hand in the posterior forearm are all passing through the extensor retinaculum. It's time for the contents which pass over the extensor retinaculum. There are just three contents which pass over the extensor retinaculum. Two of them you can see in the picture. The cephalic vein which crosses the side of the thumb and the basilic vein. Cephalic vein and the basilic vein. And we have another nerve as you know radial nerve is coming from all over the posterior of the forearm it supplies the posterior of the arm as well forearm and then it the superficial branch of it 
passes over the extensor retinaculum. Thank you for watching. Best of luck for your exams and Allah Hafiz.